I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. This is Mr. Saltwater Tank, RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions, the show where I call it as I see it. Taking a first look today at the Hannah Ammonia Checker. And the first thing you're maybe thinking is what I was thinking when I heard they're making ammonia checker was the last time I checked ammonia in my display tank was yeah I've never checked ammonia in my display tank or really any of my display tanks why is that well because I cycle my tanks with live nitrifying bacteria and I never see an ammonia reading all I get the next day is a nitrate reading that being said, there are some places where I can see using the ammonia checker. First one is if you love HANA products, you love HANA checkers, you love having a digital readout of readings as opposed to trying to look at color cards and decipher where you think the reading should be. So this completes the HANA checker suite. You've got ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, nitrate, alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. So you've got them all. If you want them all, boom, this completes your collection. Also, if you're cycling your tank with live rock or more the quote traditional method where you know it's going to take weeks to do it, this is going to be very useful to have because you need to be checking ammonia frequently. Or if you're cycling your tank with live nitrifying bacteria and you're doing it with a fishless method, you need to check ammonia, this is going to get the job done. Also, if you're running quarantine tanks, which by nature don't have great filtration, especially in the nitrifying bacteria suite, well, you want to keep an eye on ammonia, so this is another way to do it. Okay, so that being said, those are all the places you could use the ammonia checker. Let's run an ammonia chest on my display tank, first time ever, and let's see what kind of readings we get. Opening up the box, I like that there is a quick reference card for instructions. They're easy to follow, and it's laminated, so it can get wet like when you knock over the vial. I also like how Hannah includes the dropper, as this makes getting the sample water from your tank easy. Yes, you can take the vial and dip it in your tank, and you're probably gonna overshoot or undershoot how much liquid to get in the vial to get to that line that's marked on the vial. This means you gotta empty a little bit out or add some more in. Then once you get it close enough, then you gotta dry the vial. Now look, these are first world problems, so using that dropper really makes it easy. You just pull out the amount of water you need, repeat this a couple times, and you can add drops until you get right at that line, and there's no need to dry the vial. Next, add 18 drops of reagent A. Yes, count out 18 drops. A syringe and instructions to add 0.5 milliliters or one milliliters of reagent would be nice here as that's easier than counting out 18 drops. Perhaps Hannah decided that users were better at counting drops than measuring out reagents out of a syringe. I don't know, I'm not including the R&D. This is a first impression show that came to mind. Next, add a packet of powder reagent, then invert the vial until all the powder reagent is dissolved. Easy enough, just make sure you don't shake the vial per the instructions. Then let the vial sit for 30 seconds to allow the air bubbles to rise, then press the button on the checker to zero it. Next, add 12 drops of reagent B, invert the vial five times, return the vial to the checker and press and hold the button to start the 15 minute Yes, you heard me right, 15 minute timer. 15 minutes later, a numerical result without the need of looking at a color card. Should I be concerned that there is ammonia out of my fully cycled thousand gallon reef tank that's full of fish? Nope, not at all, and here's why. The nitrogen cycle is always going on in your tank. Fish are producing ammonia, food is breaking down, there's ammonia getting produced in your tank. If there wasn't, then you'd have no nitrates, and really there'd be no life going on in your tank. So there's always some amount of ammonia in your tank. The Hannon ammonia checker lets us get those readings down to a low level, so I'm not concerned that it's there. It simply means it's going on. If it was a higher reading, then I would be concerned. So overall, the Hannon ammonia checker, it's straightforward and it's easy to use. Yes, you have to count 18 drops and then 12 drops, but look, this is first world reefer problems. Takes a little more effort and a little more focus to count them out as opposed to say five drops. I would still like to see a syringe and a measurement to pull out that amount of liquid versus counting. But again, maybe Hannah said it was just easier for people to count drops than try to deal with a syringe. So yes, I see some uses for this Hannah ammonia checker. I'll have this one in my arsenal in case I ever have a, a large die off in one of my tanks 
or in my client's tanks, and I can now keep an easier eye on ammonia in my quarantine tanks as well. So, last thought I had about the Hena ammonia checker was, am I gonna use this thing before the reagents expire? I said, well, let's take a look. The expiration date on the reagent is March of 2027. So I've got four and a half years until this thing expires. So will I use it up on my quarantine tanks? I should use it up on my quarantine tanks. I'm not gonna use it on checking my display tank ammonia, but I am gonna have it around in case one of my clients or I have a large die off, I can go check ammonia. Another thought is reefing buddies who are setting up tanks, they're gonna use this. Or if you're a reef club, this is a great thing to have for paying members. They get access to the ammonia checker when they're cycling their tank. It's another great use of it. So overall, easy to use. A little more complex, just in the sense of counting drops than other HANA checkers. But if you like the idea of easily being able to check ammonia and get a numerical readout as opposed to having to deal with color cards, this gets the job done. I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Enjoy your tanks, happy checking, and I'll catch you in the next episode.